I reiterate, uh, first of all, thank you. It's a privilege to have people to come along and listen to you. I hope you get something out of it. You'll find a lot of coaches will probably say things that you've heard before, but hopefully if I say to the players, you learn one thing, you get something out of it. And uh, I attend as many clinics as I can uh, and uh, hoping that I'm going to learn. So hopefully you get something out of this. There's two topics I'm going to cover. Uh, one, I'm going to get, there's a shooting drill, what I call a combination shooting drill, uh, coming off pin downs, or some people use the phrase down screen. And uh, I'm going to do a combination defensive drill, which will involve a, a close out, ball pressure, denial, and then containing the ball off the dribble. So I also know that, you know, having coached, uh, even though Steve spoke about me coaching the NBL, I first started coaching when I was about 25 years of age and I was playing in the NBL and coaching kids. So I've had a passion for it, not from when I retired, I've coached actually while I was playing, boys and girls, not many people know, but I did coach a lot of girls from eight to 25. But as Steve just spoke about the NBL career and the boomers. And what I've found is, um, whether it's boys or girls, they just want to be coached. I, I look at them as boys and girls, or the girls as elite athletes. And psychologically, what I've found, they get low, they get high, just the same. You know, confidence is the same. You're either feeling confident or you lack confidence. So the management of the player is pretty much the same. Obviously, there's physical differences, and uh, that, that's all there is. But I tell you now, some of the, the girls I've coached, I'm coaching right now are pretty tough and pretty athletic. And, uh, uh, it's pretty pleasing to have such talent uh, at my disposal in regard to the Opals. So what I'm going to start off with the, is, uh, as I mentioned, was the shooting drill. And I'm not going to get into the technique. We'll be here. I'm sure you've all gone through technique and various players have technique. I'm just going to uh, go through a process where I'll throw, show you three types of shots off a down screen and then put, it, put that into a combination. I think it's important to note that you know, you don't just let the players come out here and shoot. We'll do that today. As Kennedy said, we're here to teach. But any time I do a shooting drill with a player, I usually put a number on it to score. And it might, you know, depending on the age group, uh, there'll be a different number. I, I guess the, for me, the top players, if I just had them catch and shoot from five spots, for example, uh, if, we're, if we've only got 45 minutes or, or say 30 minutes, they would have to make five of seven before they move to the next spot. And they're not allowed to miss two in a row. All right, doesn't sound that tough, but it is pretty tough. And then you get to the, our senior Opals, I would have them make seven or nine, but they're not allowed to miss two in a row. So that's a pretty high percentage, no one's defending them. So they, and they've got to work at a good tempo. One of the things I suggest is, uh, rather than go down and work a player out for an hour and a half and just go through the motions, uh, I don't suggest that. If you're just working on technique, it's different. I say to the girls, let's go. You either go or you don't go. Don't turn up. Good intensity, 45 minutes, an hour. They shouldn't be probably able to go more than an hour if they're, if they're working at the right tempo. Because in that, and that's more realisation of a game situation. Because in a game, you don't get a lot of time to shoot the basketball. And the higher the level you go, it's the same. So just, just a little, uh, few, few little tips before we get into it. And as I said, the five spots. Five, you know, depending on the level, it might be, uh, it might be two or four, but you know, I'll miss two in a row, it might, and three or five, or five or seven, depending on the level. All right, give them a target, put a little bit of pressure on them to make those shots. All right, let's have a look at the first one. And um, girls, can I just grab those chairs? Because I've got two chairs at the back. So we're gonna pretend these are the, these are the screeners. So it could be just you and a player, all right? You don't, you've only got one player. So as a coach, you'll be the passer here, and uh, we'll use the chairs as screeners. If you've got more players, you can have players in this position. You can play shooting games. I could put six at this end, six at that end, have three, let's get a passer out, a passer out here, girls. Passer, we, who's, the, who's the great penetrating part? Okay, all right, where's our shooters? We put our hand up, where's our shooters? All right, shooter here, in the middle without the ball. All right, so the pass is just as important, all right, as the shooter. I've got to say, pass and make shooter. Pass and make shooter, get the assist. All right, you want the pass exactly where you need it, depending on what you're doing and coming off the ball. First thing here is, we're gonna ask, uh, we're gonna work on the straight cut. So we're gonna, what we're saying is, uh, the defender's being screened. But what we need to do, 
in order for a screen to be set a lot of the time is create some separation. So what we do here, you talked about physicality. If, if I know she's a shooter, usually they're gonna play you pretty tight because they don't want you to get separation. So you need to take me one, get me to move one way. So you know you're gonna come there. So you step that way and lose me and then go. Now that's the screener. And then as, once there's separation, it's easier for me to be screened. So right now, the type of shot that should take place, if you make that pass, let's just go. All right, interesting, all right, two feet. So go back again, I wanna watch which foot you, you pivot and shoot, shoot on, just turn and pivot. Okay, so it's heel toe, that's fine. All right, you'll find different players sometimes like to keep the same pivot foot so they'll come out here and catch off this foot or they'll turn and face. I don't get bogged down with that. All right, I don't get bogged down with that. You, you, I, I usually, with a young kid, I'll teach heel toe, but sometimes I'll just want to keep, keep the same pivot foot. What you do is make sure they do keep it that way. All right, but heel toe's good. So you face up and you're ready to shoot the ball. But the key here to getting open is to create separation. All right, and I call that a straight cut. Let's come back. All right, so you get rid of me here, throw me a little fake, come off and just shoot it. Come straight out. Good. All right, that's okay. So that's a straight cut. So there's separation, and that allows me to be screened. If I took the chair out and put a defender there, all right, you've got, to, you've got to screen me. So again, get rid of me, create the separation here. I'm coming late, move, screen, good. All right, heel toe, face up, that's a good shot. Now. I'll put the chair back. Second shot. Coach is screaming at me. She's made three in a row. Don't let her get open. As we do. <laughs> Don't we? <laughs> All right, so now I'm really locked in. I want to stay in the game. So now there's no way, what's your name? George is getting away from me. I'm following you, Georgia. So she throws, I'm here, and now I'm staying behind. I want to avoid that screen, so I slip behind. Now it's called a lock and trail. But George is smart. She knows how to read this situation. So change of pace. You just stop low, right, and hold your ground. I run into her, I fall back, create separation, and you curl right in here, into this area here. You've got to pass the ball to the inside hand. All right, so again, now there's no separation. I want to stay in the game, I want to play. I don't want to be taken from the floor. Coach is giving me an instruction to lock and trail. So we're here, and you change your pace, stop the screen, so I'm back on my heels, and you curl straight in here. I'm coming in here, it's a foul. All right, so lock and trail, we call that a curl cut. All right, I won't go into what this player does, it's just shooting drills at the moment for, for the shooter. All right, let's have a go at that again. You ready? Change the pace, good. All right, tough to guard. But you've got to change the speed here. Sprint here, I'm right with her, she stops. Usually the defense falls back and you curl tight. Really important to talk to the passer. Throw the ball to the outside hand. You ready? I want you to throw it to her outside hand, go. All right, it's gonna be a steal. So the pass has got to go to the inside hand where I can't get it. So the pass is important, pass and make shooter. So that's the curl cut. Half time, coach says to me, well, you allowed separation, now you're getting killed on the curl, we want you to slip the screen. All right, you're getting killed on the curl, so we want you to slip it. So now, here, I'm, I think I'm gonna be smart. You stop at the screen here, and you sprint to a spot right there and slide out, that's it. Now you need to dribble that. You need to dribble at, it's important to talk about the passer. Because if you don't dribble, I'm gonna steal that. So you dribble and pass at the passer. Take a dribble outside hand. So some people will call that a flare screen, you know, flare action or fade action. Let's have a crack at that. So I'm running around the screen, I can't get you. All right. Okay, I'm gonna call out what you have to do now. You ready? Stay confident, ready? On your toes, you wanna to set, 
Straight cut, straight cut. Good. And from a, you know, from a conditioning point of view, I would have a chaser and get a shot and put it back in. Curl cut. Good, rebound it, put it back in. Next one. Flare. Good. All right, start, keep your head up. Okay, give us a cut, another shooter out here. We're gonna, you're going to keep going. All right, we're going to go two. Give me another pass in here. All right, let's go straight cut first. You ready? You go next. Pass it here. Straight cut. Heel toe, face up, shoot. Good job. Okay, next one. Straight cut. Straight cut. Good. Curl cut. All right, now let's just bring the pass back here a little bit, girls. All right, so we need spacing for the pin now. Flare. Got to dribble at it. All right, so they're the three shots. Okay, straight cut, curl, flare. Now, even if I put this here, a lot of teams set staggered doubles or singles, down screens. It's exactly the same. Straight cut, they go under the screen, we stop behind the screen, heel toe shoot. They lock and trail, I stop at the screen, I curl in here, inside hand, look to shoot. All right, they slip the screen, they slip the screen, I stop at the screen, I take a step and I open up, ready to shoot. All right, and again with the footwork, you can see that here, right, I'm, a, I'm actually a lefty, but I, I, I would come here right and pull this left foot back. But again, some players might slide out here and still turn and shoot. Don't get bogged down with that, especially with older players. I'm not going to change them. Do you think I'm going to change Lauren Jackson? Say you should put this foot here and that foot there. All right? I think we get bogged down with that. All right, it's important that they know what to do to read the defense. Kennedy talked about shuffle, triangle, systems. Sometimes in those structures, you only get one type of shot. You want your players to be versatile. You want them to be able to read the defense. All right, so whatever you do, allow versatility and be flexible. Right, teach our players to shoot, dribble and pass. Not just be a rebounder. All right, so teach them various types of shots. Okay, let's, look, let's have a look at a straight cut here. Girls, come from this angle over here. So again, the setup, just take that pass back. Again, you want separation here, so you walk me down. So I'm here, and then sprint. There, all right, you gotta go tight. All right, I'm hit with the screen, so your shot's probably right there. I can't get there. So a little two-foot shot right there. All right, I can't get there. I'm screened. Let's do that. So change of pace. Talk to the players about not always going 100 miles an hour, just walk, change of pace, get your separate sprint. I get there, I'm screened. I can't get there. Nice. Next one, next player. Let's go. All right, so straight cuts. Okay, they're locking and trailing. Do, do the same thing here, curl cut. Change of pace, go to the screen, stop, curl. Good. Pass that ball to the inside hand, nice. Next player, let's go. Nice, stop and fade now, flare screen. You've got to dribble at the pass, you've got to get a good passing angle. All right, one thing. I, will talk, we're not, I won't get right into technique, but when you get here, girls, you've got to be low. So you get to that spot there, open up, and so you're going straight into your shot. If you catch the ball upright, by the time you turn and go down, the defense is going to be recovered. So everything's low, all right, get low. Sit down, good, good. Rebound, put it back in. Next one. Nice. Sometimes, you know, you're going to stretch, at the start of practice, I like to do a lot of shooting to warm up. Rather than just run up and down, a lot of you only got an hour, an hour and a half. 
hey, forget about running them up and down. They need, they, hopefully they're doing that at school. It's all about skills. Make the most of your time that you have. Do not make them run suicides and all this fitness stuff. Tell them to do that somewhere else, right? Utilize the time, and I know I've had a half a court, like I said, I, this is not where I started. I had a half a court with 10, 20 kids. So it's all about fundamentals, all right? If you've got 10 kids, have them play. I'll give you that advice. They're not gonna become better basketballers running up, up and down when you only got one hour a week or two hours a week or half an hour. So I'm big on that, even with my senior players. All right, now let's, let's uh, so now we've got red and black and white. Let's put three players here, three players under the basket, same at the other end. So you create competition, starters versus the bench. All right, everyone hates losing. All right, so maybe the team loses, or the team that wins starts with the ball, maybe you make them do five sit-ups. I don't know, don't make the penalty too heavy and take too much time because you lose training time. All right, so we should have six at each end, girls. Six whites at that end, six blacks at this end. Let's go. So the white team versus the black team. Two balls. All right, under the basket. Three at the top, three at the bottom. And we're just gonna work off this block. If you haven't got a chair, all right, we're gonna say, and you're gonna rotate, everybody's gonna shoot. Ball in the middle, ball's in the middle. Now take a big step back, because you want good spacing off the down screen. So we'll start here, I come off here, straight cut. Turn and shoot, right? Then you'll go to that line, rebound, you'll go to the passing line. So white versus red, first to seven, straight cut, let's go. Good passes. Go. Let's go. Just relax, girls. Step out into your range. Make sure you don't go too far. Step to your range. Call them out. Come out low. Remember, come out nice and low. Hands ready to shoot. Hands ready to catch. Sprint there, girls. Change the pace. Sprint to that spot. Get there quick. Feel like I'm coaching now. Sprint there, sprint there. Bounce on your toes, bounce on your toes. In the middle, shake them off. Create separation, what do we got? Good passes. Put that ball right below their chin. Seven, okay, white's up one. Bring the, bring the ball back here now, a little higher. Depending on structures, it can be here or it can be here. Now we're gonna stop at the screen and curl. And we wanna curl into this area here. All right, pass the ball to the inside hand. Let's go, to seven. Stop at the curl, that's it. A little bit higher. Pass the ball to the inside hand, put something on it. Now pass the ball with your outside hand. Pass the ball with your outside hand. So you should be passing left here. You should be passing right down here. So coaches, make sure we're passing with the correct hand as well. Heel, toe, shoot, step into it. On the curl, get away from the defense. Stop at the screen. What have we got? What have we got, Black? Okay, geez, black, white's up too. We better pick it up. All right, now guess what? I had my centers do that, all right? They ain't, they ain't just taken and put in the post. I want players to be versatile, all right? Be able to play inside out. That makes us tough offens offensively, less predictable, all right? It makes us tough to go from an individual point of view and a team point of view. Now, give us the flare screen. Stop the screen and flare. Dribble at the pass, pass to the outside hand. Sit down, open up. All right, you've got to catch it low, girls. Catch the ball low so you can go straight into your shot.
Call it out, dribble out the pass. Get to your range. Good job. Stop at the screen, sit down, open up. Good, good. Okay, hold it there. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, girls, come down. So we'd keep playing that, and guess what? You go to the other side. You play the three shots, or you take it to the elbows. All right, three shots, you play shooting games. So you vary it depending on the number of players you got. If it's just you and an individual, you stick a chair there. Then you can bring in two players. All right, but I'm not going there because I've only got 15 minutes for this. So you take it to the other side. So create competition with the score if you've only got the individual. Create competition with the score if you've got two teams, all right, going against each other. Again, the bigs, girls. And, and, and a lot of guys think they're pretty cool. You know? We've got to be moving quick, right? Quick. Don't come, you ain't working with me, I'm telling you now. If you're cool, too cool. All right? Don't waste my time, don't waste coaches' time. That's why they're there. So it's here, right? I'm here. Boom! Fast as I can. And guess what? That gives you a little bit more time to shoot the ball. All right, if you haven't, you know, you've had to put, gather the ball out here. So coaches, don't let them, you know, when, when you're working on a technique, that's fine, but once you go into a shooting drill, have them do it quick. Wasting your time, wasting their time. All right, let's talk about defense. So three shots in a row, you have them. Just before we go to the defense, we've got the straight cut, the curl cut, the flare. Now you can, you can just spend time on one shot and work into it, but, and then you start calling it out. So they've got to follow your instruction and react. All right, we're going to talk about defense now. And again, I like that. If you're limited with time, you put players at the top, players under the basket, and you're talking about how to pass the basketball as well to the shooter. Pass and make shooter. Pass and make shooter. Get the assist. Get the assist. Have them respect the pass. All right, now defense. A couple of you put up your hand and said you were great defenders. Who were they? He told me, tell, tell everybody over here. <laughs> Who were they? I'll find out, I'll ask the coach afterwards anyway. Who we got? All right, you're on D then. You're gonna be a great defender for the rest of your life. You see all those people that dobbed you in? When you play against them, you just get after them, all right? All right, let's put an offensive player here. Offensive player, who can dribble? All right, put the ball here. Now we'll work on closeouts first. Now, for example, if I'm here with the basketball, where would your coach tell you to be? Oh, there. They're gonna let, let her catch, are they? And just, okay. Would you be up with the arm in the lane a little bit? Okay, to make her catch, make it hard for her to catch. All right, now if I'm here, where are you? Good, well coach. Coach here, point her out. <laughs> ah, Angela, who drove me here. Finding out about you now, Angela. Not just the girls. All right. Ball here. Okay, sorry. Ball here. Okay, so further away from the ball, can you get that if I threw it? All right, so depth. Now, how did Angela tell you to stand? Nice and low, why? why? Explode. You can't explode with your straight leg. Down low like a base runner playing baseball, ready to steal the base, all right, on your toes. If I now, if I lift the ball above my head, what, could you do? what am I gonna do? Yeah, so what can you do now? You can cheat off a little bit, all right? If I bring the ball here, what am I going to do? And why you gotta be there, ready to help, all right? So we lift the ball above the head. So what we're going to do now that I'm back here, all right, good, you can sink in a little bit further, all right, same thing. Now, we don't have time to do all that. There's only two of you here, maybe you and the player. So we put the ball here and we pretend you're off the ball, but we give you the basketball, all right? What do you do ready to receive the ball? 
Okay, so you're ready to catch and shoot, drill and pass. Good, we're not just standing up. All right? So what I want you to do here is if you're in a help position and someone throw the ball to it and close out, just show me what you do to begin with. Good, good, come back. All right, I'll bring you a little bit lower. So we're gonna throw it, all right? And we're gonna take a couple of quick steps, might be three, stop short, and then walk up. All right, slowly on your toes. All right, not on your heels. You're up on your heels, you're going around. And coaches, again, we all differ in how we teach. I don't like this. Two feet. If I'm in the air with two feet, I don't know how I can slide. All right, so it's a walk up. One, keeping body balance. I know this thing's going around. All right, I'll wait till you get up in the air and then I'm gone. I'm going by you. All right, so I want quick sprints. Now, which side are you going to close down on? Low, high side or low side? High side. Why would you close out the high side? Oh, uh, uh, take it to the baseline. Yeah, most, most coaches want to send baseline. Uh, believe it or not, some coaches want you to send to the middle. All right, now the higher the level you go, if you overplay one side, you're in trouble. If you send baseline, they're gonna go baseline, they're gonna lay it up, it's gonna be two on one. If you send middle, they're gonna go middle, it's gonna be two on one. So I want you to close out flat. What I mean is stay between your opponent and the basket. So basically right on her nose, all right? So close out now. Sprint, short steps. Now walk up, touch distance on the ball. All right, now, okay, that's good. This hand, touch distance on the ball. You showed her your pivot foot. Which foot she gonna beat you with? Okay. So now, so you haven't seen, if you haven't seen a pivot foot, you wanna close out flat. If, once they show you a pivot foot, you've gotta adjust. Because if you don't adjust, right, she's gonna step by you. So you wanna keep your pivot foot in the middle now. And you need to be wide and low. Your feet have to be wider than her feet. Your feet have to be wider than her feet. Show, show me. All right, bring your feet narrow together. If her feet are narrow, she's going to be able to step by her easily. If her feet are wider, she has to take a longer step and a dribble now to get round. Touch distance, wide feet. All right, and, and that's exactly it. If, if she jabs, you hop back. You don't slide or don't open the gate. On the jab, jab, hop back. So that's, I'm staying in the middle there. Now she goes back. Now, if we can, we try and get the ball above their head. This is, this is, I love this, all right? I mean, I hate it, but I love it on the defensive side. Now, she's a passer. I'm just gonna step in here, and I'm just gonna pressure that pass, and again, you can get off. Now, as soon as you shape the drive, shape down, we're gonna hop back. So what we're working on is the close out and the ball pressure and the ball lift. Let's do that. Put the ball back. Got it? Establish your pivot foot. Good, good. Lift it above your head, step in. All right, and you're saying ball. I got ball. Do it again. All right, now your feet. All right, bring it back. Remember, try and, try and keep her between you and the basket. So if I looked at your feet, right, it'd be heel toe. All right, that's my heel, that's my toe. So the push points, coaches, are that way, right? Or this way, away from the rim. Don't get discouraged if a player brings the ball through here. You can level her off. What we don't want is blow-bys, what we call blow-bys, and she's going right by me, either that way or that way. And even here, if you can cut her off and force her to shoot a jump shot, that's okay. We're asking for perfection, you try and get out and do it, it's pretty tough. All right, but we're aiming for perfection. All right, so give us the close out now and the, and the sh fake of the shot and the ball lift, let's go. Where's your, where's your ball pressure? Now, if, if my girls are playing someone like this, shoot it, she, ain't, she can't block it, just shoot it. Hands are down, all right, you just shoot it over the top of her. Get that ball pressure, that hand on the ball, go back. Close out.
Good, good. Hop back, hop forward, good. Lift it above her head, stick, stick. Okay, that's good. Now, as Coach said, I wish I could involve all of them, but it's more about you guys and these girls right now. Okay, so that's the close out and the ball, ball lift. Right, so now I'm just gonna break it down each second and then I'll show, it, show you how it comes together when you're limited for time. If the ball's at the top, all right, you're on the wing. Show me how you're gonna play it. All right, so we want the arm in the passing lane. You must keep your head behind her head. Why is that? So she doesn't back door. That's enough. If, if through a risky pass, you should be able to steal that. All right, again, get down low. All right, where's your hand to catch the ball? Right, so you've got to keep that, now that's denial. I want you to take her down once and I want you to come back in denial. Let's go. Take her right down to the post. Slide with her. All right. Now you've got to stay low, all right? So she takes me down, I'm low here, all right? I'm low, she takes me down, I'm sliding quick. I'm heel toe, I'm pointing my toe where I'm going. All right, again, if I'm upright, she's gonna catch the ball and she's gonna back door. You've got to stay low and you've got to have your head behind her head. Let's go. Where's the ball? Can you see the ball? Just keep your arm in the way, just keep your head straight and see the ball and your player. All right, take her down, take her down. All right, so that's denial. All right, I don't mind if she went to the other side of the floor to just head snap when she gets to this area. Head snap and deny the other side. But we're only, again, I'm showing you four things. So we've got the close out. We've got the technique of denial. The easiest thing to say, keep your head behind their head or just have your arm in the passing lane. That's enough. This is the hardest thing to do. All right, girls, you ready? How we warmed up? We are, I don't know if we're telling the truth, but let's see if you can go, all right? You're warmed up. So we're gonna go denial, we're gonna go one denial, come back, and then you can just let her catch and then I want you to go to the rim. I just want to see what happens. Let's go. You're trying to get the ball now on this second one. Go. Now play, go. Okay, that's what I wanted to see. All right, so now we're going to talk about the fourth piece. All right, the first piece was the close out. The second piece was the, uh, the, second piece was the lift. Get, them, get the ball above their head and lift. The third piece is, right, they throw the ball back. Denial. So we work on the denial. Now the fourth piece is contained in the basketball. All right, so if we come back up here, throw the ball. All right, now, what do we talk about? Touch distance on the ball. Where's her, where's her lead foot? Her lead foot, okay, she's changed her pivot foot. All right, before that, so that's her foot she's gonna be. So that, you need to keep that in the middle of you to make sure she can't step by you. All right, now, if she jabs, jabs, what do you do? If she hop back. Good. All right, what happens a lot of the time is when they show the jab, jab, player opens the gate. Opens the gate. So you want to hop back, and if they change direct, hop back and keep going. All right, then we call a swing step. You don't want to open the gate right up, so I just go from here to there. All right, call that a swing step. Some people call it a drop step. We go away from the drop step because that sometimes just subconsciously means drop the foot right back. We don't want to do that. So, okay, I couldn't let her. I couldn't, um, I couldn't force her there, but now I can still cut her off here. The same here to the middle. It's hard to guard. Well, here coaches say, same thing here, jab, jab me. Hop back, okay, now go middle. All right, hop back, and then I swing step and I slide. That's good defense. Sometimes I hear coaches say the ball's going across the middle. No middle, no middle. That is no middle. The player's going away from the rim. I tell you, get out here and try and do it yourself. All right, what we don't want is blow bys down the middle or down the baseline. So we're stuck for time. So once you build it up, you show each, you know, a close out, a denial, or a close out, a ball pressure, ball lift, a denial. You haven't got much time, but that, now you need more time to do other things at practice. So this is called the combo defensive drill, where you're gonna hit all those up, all right? It's not, it's not a magic formula or anything like that. So you're here with the ball. If you've got three, you've got three, three players, and you go through this, so again, normally you'd be up there, but for the drill, we're going to pretend the ball's over there to start with. 
So the first thing we're going to do is work on the close out. Close out. Throw it. Get there. All right, lift the ball above your head. Shape the drive. Hop back. Good. Throw it. Jump to a denial stance. All right, as soon as the ball's here, we jump to the ball. We don't want it to get it back. All right? So we call that a denial stance. Again, depending on who, who they're coached by, maybe they'll have open stance. They don't mind them catching the ball. All right, but she's a good player. I don't want to get the ball back easy. I want to force her out. So now you're in denial. So there's the close out. Now you've got to give her one denial. Go down. Keep your head behind her head. All right, one denial. Go back. Go back. Let her have the second one and play. Right, not bad. Like she's still got in the middle a bit, but she's still got her body in front of her. You know, Kennedy talked about handling the contact. All right, sometimes you're gonna get by, show your hands and use your body. All right, so we're working on the close out, one. The ball lift, two. Throw it out, we jump to denial, working on denial. All right, so we deny up and back, and then we play, we're working on containment, four. So combo defensive drill. Let's do it again, let's play. One denial. Good. Good offense. <laughs> All right, so the thing is, which is through the fake, we move sideways. We've got to hop back and slide. Okay, but we're only learning this. It's very difficult, coaches, to go from this, especially from this to that. So you've got to teach that. From this, if they catch, to that. All right, just remember that footwork as well, from, from denial to containment. So we've got, if we go back over the offense, you've got a three shot pin down drill. Straight cut, curl, flare. Now this is a combo defensive drill. You've got close out, ball lift, denial and containment. I'm done, I hope you got something out of it, thanks.